Welcome to the new PSAT Crash Course in Math, No Calculator section. My name is Rob Shums, I'm the owner of Reason Prep, and today I'm bringing you 17 episodes all about math. This is really just part one, because in the new PSAT and new SAT, there's two separate math sections or separate math tests. In one of the tests, one of the sections, you can't use your calculator, and that's the one we're gonna be talking about in these videos. And then in the other longer test, you're gonna have uh, calculators allowed. So these 17 episodes over the 17 questions are gonna cover various approaches in terms of content, things you need to know for the test, but also traps to avoid, strategies to tackle the questions more effectively, a whole host of stuff. And you can see right here, just in this part of the video, the episode titles, uh, hinting at some of the topics we'll cover. If you want to see this episode listing, just click the link in the description below. You can go to my website and you'll see the whole list of the episodes. So some information about this section. The no calculator section is 17 questions on the new PSAT with 25 minutes allotted to you to do those questions. As I've suggested or said already, there's no calculator allowed for this question for this section. So you have to do everything by hand if you're gonna do any computation. So that sometimes can be a little bit tricky, but as we'll see in these episodes, it doesn't really come up that much actually. Uh, maybe occasionally we gotta do a little bit of math by hand, but it's not actually too bad. The series here is organized into 17 episodes as you saw. And each episode is going to teach a skill or a piece of content, give you a tactic to approach a question in a different way, uh, or point out uh, traps to avoid. And sorry, this got a little bit cut off. Or points out traps to avoid. Right. So things you should be careful of so that you don't make errors. The problems are completed in order from 1 to 17. So episode 1 is going to go over problem number 1, episode 2 is going to go over problem number 2, and so on. One thing I've noticed, I've mentioned this in all the videos so far, complete the entire test, all sections, reading, writing, and both math, on your own first and do it timed before you watch any of the videos. And then once you've done that, then go ahead and watch every single video, even for problems that you got right. You might have gotten the question right for the wrong reasons, and even if you got it right completely, you might still learn something that you didn't know the first time. So definitely watch each video, take notes, really engage with each of these videos because each of them is going to teach you something that you could definitely use on your new PSAT and indeed on the new SAT as well. If you haven't done the test or if you need it, you can get the test, the new PSAT test in the description below. So there'll be a link there that you can click to go to my website to get that test. All right, let's move to the first episode, which is about algebra, and using your units effectively. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.